Today we're looking at the first two new dolls from the Loyal Subjects for these Rainbow Bright and Strawberry Shortcake brands. There are many other coming. You can see, look, look at all of those. Those ones are coming out. These ones are coming out for Strawberry Shortcake. Now, I have to be a little honest. Um, um, I bought these actually for someone else. I'm not going to keep them. Um, but I'm opening them because I'm sending them to Europe and trading them for something else there. But um, actually, they become readily available in Europe and everywhere, which is not always the case for things like this. They, I saw them at Walmart and wasn't sure that I would see them again, but it seems that there are ma they're making a lot of these. Now, the Loyal Subjects, as a toy company, I do have some gripes with them. Their designs and the stuff that they make is really really nice uh, I do like how it looks now paint isn't always the best I mean I guess that can be said for it's up to par with other toy what other toy companies are doing the prices also aren't bad the availability is usually not so strong but for this the little minifigures that I already opened check out that review and these seem to be plentiful I don't. I just. I don't understand why they just did one character at a time from each brand. Uh, that's odd. Blind boxes. So there are pieces. That's what. That's what. The, that's the worst thing that they do. You can't collect everything. It. There were Masters of the Universe little cute figures that I did collect, but it was impossible for me to get the chase ones and the hunt ones, and they had blind boxes within them. And the same is for this. Like you can get different outfits and different little um i don't know different accessories that go with them i don't know much about it hopefully there'll be more information inside about that but we'll see another thing that i noticed which changed my mind like i had all intentions i had ordered these from big bad toy store just in case but i canceled my order it's possible after i look at these i might like them they're so 80s retro awesome that uh i might want to get them but I from what I'm seeing I don't like uh, the fabrication of the material it's really plasticky and also finding ones that were sewn together like the clothes that was wasn't off center and uh, finding the right paint paint applications on the face and stuff it was it was a hard selecting these um, and finding good ones the apron looks like it's made out of a nice cotton material. Unfinished edges on some of the stuff. Let's break them open. So I showed you the package. It is really cute, the selection. Oh, there's one other thing. I was, I, I thought it was so amazing that they were putting these out and like putting them together. I think Strawberry Shortcake's a little bigger. Rainbow Bright is a little bit smaller and they made them match and i thought oh wow a cohesive line where all of the little dollies will match together but uh they're not the same i, w I was very disappointed to see that the first one that i saw was rainbow bright and her head was i thought mm, she's a bit small and dinky and tiny and smaller than i thought and then when i saw strawberry shortcake i did like her proportions more but I expected them to use the same molds, like use the same head sculpt. I mean, at least make them in the same scale. Like you can see that Rainbow Bright's head is quite smaller. So I thought they were gonna be like kind of mixing the lines together and bringing two universes together. And it was such a great opportunity to do that. And I mean, they could have done crossover characters and stuff and they didn't do that and uh, so that is also something that's very disappointing to me okay so they have perforated sections on here on the doors to get your surprises i guess i'm not gonna i'm gonna keep them surprises for now i see i'll show you there's a little plastic insert in there okay looking at this right now this is this is this is this is pretty cute um um I'm, I'm joy sparking right now for sure that that does look cute okay let's see how I feel when I get this out I don't know I don't know if I'm saving these boxes or not 
again, we've got little surprise doors. Uh, every box is different, I guess. And I did check for different codes on them. There are There is a code stamp on the bottom, but all of the ones that I saw in the store had the same code on it. So I'm assuming that that means nothing. There's some stickers included that I did not know. You can see on the side there. And how's the joy sparking going on here? Her head is really tiny and I don't know. It's just not what I expected. This, the strawberry shortcake one, um, I don't have to collect them all, now do I? Maybe I will do the strawberry shortcake. Who knows? All right, so they're a little, they're really fastened in here. They've got two ties across them, but they're just two little ties across the bottom and the top. And then oh, little shaky legs, little hat, um, removable hat with a fastener. Gives you just your regular doll fastener that they usually hold on um, when they put fasteners into the head. That is what we see. Am I going to take that off? Considering it's not for me, I'm not going to take the hat off, unfortunately. Where else is it fastened? Oh, you can see. And this is the first time that I haven't been able to see clearly the fasteners. But look, they have put holes right through this um, ribbony material. This very, very nylon-y polyester. Um, it's softer than I had thought. It's not as cheap ribbon as um, it looked like from inside the package. So that is a positive thing. The face is very cute. It was hard to find one that didn't have a mistake on the face, though. And I am going to be stripping these down. That is something that uh, I do that you don't see other doll collectors do. I'm going to take out our doll reviewers. Oh, classic. A very 80s holly hobby kind of strawberry shortcake. Stickers. I'm take off that tape. That's, that's a super cute sticker collection. Might have to keep that for myself. And uh, this is fastened inside of the box. Can you use the cardboard for anything? It seems to be like the same pattern that was on the back of the minifigures. I'm just going to throw that to the side and let's open up her. We will have to compare the bodies. I can see right now that the bodies are completely different. They're two completely different lines, which is also giving me permission to just choose one. I guess I should be grateful that I don't have to buy every single toy. She feels heavier. She feels more like an action figure. And I'm seeing her double jointed knees right now, which is something that I don't know if the other one has. We will be, we will be totally dismantling these for sure. Um, stick around for the surprises. Don't forget there's all kinds of surprises. I gotta take out these stickers too. Doing it carefully. I don't know what part of the packaging I want to save, so I'm being super careful. Again, super cute print on the back of the on the back of there. I think the same green stars were used for the back of the minifigures that I opened for the Rainbow Bright one. One of them, yeah, it was the Rainbow Bright. They gave different backdrops to each figure, but for the Strawberry Shortcake ones, they were all the same. Pink with very light polka dots. Cute, cute 80s stickers. I do like those too as well. And uh, let's, uh, let's break these down. So one of the best things about Strawberry Shortcake, in my opinion, was the fact that they had socks and shoes. There was something really uh, um, real about that. And uh, I mean, that's continued here. I just, uh, the lag just fell apart. I hope it's not, I hope I, I didn't just break it. I wasn't pulling hard. That's, that could be, that could be horrible. Um, Oh no, there's a tied apron on the back here, but it is, we have to be, we have to be careful. 
it's uh, it looks like it goes right across. That was a nice touch, but it's sewn there, and you don't have to untie the apron, even though we would like those to be separate pieces. Please don't let the figure be broken. If it is broken, then these are super fragile. Okay, so the smock comes off like this, the little dress with the attached apron. The Velcro is attached like this. Again, this is a very nylon material. The apron is done in a more cottony like material. It's still probably polyester. And the um, the the edges, it's see it's very t-shirty and they're unfinished around the edges there, but it is finished at the bottom and uh, on the sides of the apron, just not on the frills of the sleeve. But all in all, it is made very well, the construction, so, mm-hmm. And then she's got a painted on top, which um, I'm not happy about that. And uh, let's take her pants down and see if I broke her. Okay. Whew. Kind of, kind of panicking there, but it's a ball joint, so it is. Looks like she's just popped off of her ball joint, which is totally fine. Um, taking these shoes off, I am going to be careful. The shoes are a harder plastic for a shoe, but still kind of rubbery. You can see how that's attached. Very, very cute shoe. Kind of peanutsy. And let's take off the other one. Ugh. And the stockings, once again, the one of the best things about Strawberry Shortcake are the socks and the shoes. It just feels really luxurious. Um, the quality of these stockings are quite nice too and really cute. It is bringing up some kind of uh, child nostalgia for me. Uh, it just, it looks, it, it looks absolutely like European cartoon cuteness. Okay, so let's crack on the ball joint there. Um, the articulation is quite, 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 what are those little uh, Asian figures, digi something or others? That's the kind of feel that I'm getting from these kind of lots of articulation. I mean, there's not too much that it's making the sculpt look bad either. Twist at the waist. You can see that there's this total ball joint kind of thing going on in the shoulder. So lots of range of moment, movement there. And the same with the elbow where you can twist. However, there is limitations to the elbow and I'm expressing them. That is as far as it goes there. And the wrist is on a ball joint so that swivels all around. The only um, limitations is the hand itself stopping it from going deeper. So yeah, that is a good amount of articulation. The knee is double jointed and uh, the ankle is on this ball joint kind of thing here. Very, very, very cool. Looks like a an, um, an Asian Japanese inspired cartoon figure. The underwear thing is kind of lame. Uh, nobody likes it printed on detail. Um, unless it's an action figure, but uh, I mean, it's okay. It's a toy. Sometimes people worry about their toy nudity, especially in this being an adult collector kind of toy. The price point isn't at an adult collector vantage point, so I don't know. Let's compare the bodies. Let's see what else. Let's see what's going on here in Strawberry Shortcake Land. Oh. So her feet kind of look the same. The boots are very, very cute, all puffy and spacey and rainbowy. When I was opening the minifigures from these, it dawned on me that these were, I never made the correlation, that they're kind of like astronauts. They are little space, space babies. Okay, so that's what the boots, there are a left and a right um, on, I think, maybe I'm mistaken. Oh yeah, there is, because there is a star on the opposite sides. And I guess with these, the same is true too. However, it's not as easy to tell. Very peanuts, those ones are. Okay, and she has the same sort of deal going on with her apron. Uh, there's a belt and suspenders that are completely separate. Uh, I mean, they're not completely separate. They're just, I mean, they're sewn on 
uh, and uh, um, you know you can you can see this is all attached unfinished sleeves but it is just this ribbony material so they would have burnt the edge kind of thing to stop it from fraying nylon construction is okay you can see uh, the details going on and how how they had to sew in all of those extra suspenders and belt and the embroidery little patch that is both of them yeah the embroidery little patches are of a, um, a good real quality they're real patches and also it's such a very 80s thing so that's kind of cool let me cut off this loose thread here because it's huge velcro on both of the backs of these it does seem to be like this tab velcro which seems to work out really well maybe uh, more doll companies should pay attention to that because I am noticing that they're fastening both of these garments are fastening very blindly like it really hides the velcro and there is a lower profile by taking it out that's one of the worst things about um, having real buttons and stuff is that they usually stick out um, but having this tab of Velcro, um, for all you people who make your own little action figure clothes or doll clothes, this is, this is definitely, I'm noticing, something that you should incorporate by putting this out. You don't have that double layer of material. So that's, that is a good craftsmanship piece. They close very well on the back. Her and her little underwear, so she's got this full thing of underwear on, a little bow in her hair that is attached to an elastic band. I can't really see how, I guess it's sewn. Seems to be sewn onto an elastic band. Um, and there's that little plastic star on a ribbon. Kind of cute. Little ponytail. The hair is, um, it's not, it's not uh, it's not Saran anyway, but it's it's pretty soft and the fact that it's in a ponytail and you probably shouldn't remove it. Actually, I don't know. I don't know anything about the hair. I don't even know if people r really know who say they know about hair. It's pretty soft. It's pretty cute. It's staying in place. Uh, and um, one of the things that I don't like about dolls is hair, but the style of this and the way that it's cut and it's very nicely contained in this ponytail. It actually, maybe, I don't know, it's pretty soft. I don't know what kind of hair it is. It's falling soft, it's looking good out of the box. That's something that doesn't happen very often. Again, for her, when I was looking um, for a good face paint, there were some problems, maybe, maybe some splatters under the chin and stuff like this. The head, I never talked about strawberry shortcake's head. There's. It seems to be, it is a ball joint, but there's not much of a range of motion. I mean, of course you can spin 360 all the way around. Um, shoulder ball joint, same kind of, exactly same kind of joints on these. Wait, did you have a ball the elbow? I guess there's not a ball joint there. There's just this dent that looks like it's a ball. And I'm noticing here, she is much thicker, much stockier same articulation but because she is a little a little chunkier she doesn't have as much range of motion but i have to say her body is a lot cuter it's more baby cute chubby chubby whatever they call that uh the comparison between the bodies do they stand about the same height they um they do which is weird I guess she is a little shorter. She's a little plumper, stockier. Um, do they look like they could play together? They don't look like, they look like they could play together, actually. They just look like different sized kids. One is plump and younger, and one just has a giant noggin. So that is them in their underwear. Do I have to get them dressed up and put their, other accessories on? I don't know. Let's see what we got in here. There's no checklist or anything, so that's disappointing, because what's inside? Four surprises to unbox, and then, so there's four standard and a mystery one. I think that's what's going on here, and the same goes here. So let's see 
I, I'm so confused at all of this. So maybe the combs come in different color. So we got a comb. I think, oh yeah. I don't, I don't know how it works. There's four surprises. It says there's four in a mystery one. I think that they replace one of the regular ones for a mystery item. So we got the comb. The comb is in green on the back, but check comb. We, we get the headband. Headband is a rainbow. Check it out. Oh, I do. I do like this rainbow. I guess because it's a symbol. It's just red, yellow, and blue. I normally don't like rainbows. There's too much going on. But a primary color rainbow, which I never even thought of before, how that's possible. But it's totally possible. Anyway, the headband kind of warped. If you can't see that it's warped, it is kind of warped. But check, that's on there too. And then hmm, box number three seems to be, maybe this is, I don't know. I, don't, I think people know online, it's really sad that they didn't sh give a checklist of what you can get. But here we go, we have this purse and this thing with, what's his name, Twink? This isn't shown, but they do show a what are, what am, what am I seeing? They show they show shoe are those shoes? I think those are extra shoes. But apparently number in box number three we get an extra purse. So a twink purse. If hopefully that's his name. It seems, sounds not proper to say. And then the lunchbox I know is. I don't know. I don't know anything about this. Um, I know that this is the lunchbox. What have you gotten? Have you gotten these? Have you gotten something different? Um, the lunchbox is really cute. There's nothing more 80s than a lunchbox. I don't think that... Oh, I don't... I think it opens. But it's... I don't know. I, this is a good tool for this. I don't... I don't want to wreck somebody else's toy. Okay, you no, know, it, it, it does open. It's got a mechanical hinge, which I love that when they don't have like, you know, when you bend the plastic and you can see the white stress marks. I mean, you might get that on the latch. That lunchbox opens. That's amazing. We've got this retro. Maybe it is designed by a real print that was on the actual lunchboxes that exist. And is that a sticker or a print on? I think it's a sticker. Um, instead of being printed on, but it, the a sticker is applied perfectly, so I, got, I gotta love that. I gotta be grateful for that. That's cool. So the purse seems to be the standout, and instead of shoes, we got this purse, which is kind of very, very cute. And I guess we have to put the headband on, and I guess I'm not gonna put everything on together. I don't really wanna put the headband on because her hair is so perfect and I think that it would mess it up if I try too hard and it actually it doesn't seem just trying to do it right now it doesn't okay here we, I did it. It, it it looks cute it's adorable okay and then strawberry shortcake did I turn it upside down I don't know maybe maybe I didn't do these in order on here it says, is that a pet? Do we get a pet? And a comb and a purse and a hat. So number one is the comb again. This comb design is incredibly adorable. Is this what the original strawberry shortcake combs look like? Did they make them in fruit shapes? So it's straw, it's a, I love the design of that. Okay, that's that is adorable. And then you have to have the pets. This this makes me want to collect them. The fact, okay, yeah, strawberry shortcake is by far, in my opinion. Oh, can't say that. 
I do like the plump little body on the rainbow bright ones. But the pets, even though, I don't know, adult collectors in Barbie land, they complain about when the dolls come with pets. But with a strawberry shortcake doll, you want a pet? It's cute. I don't know how different the mold is. It, does, it doesn't look recognizable to me. So I don't think it is the original designed after the original mold. I didn't even notice it. I didn't even try to see if these smell. Oh, it stinks. I think it smells, but it's mixed with plastic. So it kind of smells like stink ore. But I think it's supposed to smell sweet. Uh, it's cute. It's cute enough. It's not the cutest little pet I've ever seen, but it's it's pretty cute. Oh, oh. Okay, and then number three is the lunchbox. So, I, 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 don't, I don't know what we didn't get. A hat? See, I don't know. I don't know what they take out. I don't think it's... I think they might just take it. You don't know what you're going to get. So, in the same way... This lunchbox opens. Um, this is the one, the one crossover where it is exactly the same. So, the same mold where we have the same lunchbox. You can see the cute little design on it. That does look like it would have been the uh, the cover of a match uh, a lunchbox from the '80s. The first thing to match. I like when my toys come together and they match. So that made me very happy. And then last but not least, we have a little purse. And it is a basket. It's not like the purse that they're showing on here. The comb looks the same. The pet looks the same. Uh, the hat and the purse. Oh, it doesn't even show the lunchbox. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what's happening. From my understanding and from opening these, what I think happens is that they have four of these. Four of these um, for sure items, but they're not really for sure because they're going to replace one of these items with a mystery item. And the mystery item can be one of five things. Four. See, that's what I don't know. I mean, where's the information? Where's the collector's guide? Where's... Why can't I get everything, loyal subjects? Why do you keep making it so I can't get a complete set, so I can't have everything? Why do you do that? Maybe it's maybe they're geniuses because they know that the people have to buy more and more and more sets until they get all of the accessories. Anyway, this ba basket of strawberries, like I said before, one thing that they do um, do very well, loyal subjects, is they does it make sculpts really really cute and they color things really really cute and it's nice i mean they do make mistakes on their paint apps a lot but this is a very nice basket of strawberries all right that's what we have here i'm sorry i didn't dress them up in their costumes they strawberry shortcake didn't really have anything that she could wear what do we get this the pet the which one did you like better the the pet is the game changer for me. That is that is a that is a big major accessory, and her head is really really big. I mean, her body is really really big. Who who wants to hear somebody say that your body's big though? Um, I'm, they're both pretty cute. Um, if I find these at a, um, a discount warehouse, I will buy them. Um, and then it also depends on these extra ones, these additional ones that are coming out. I am looking forward to that. Does it say anything includes scented doll, six pieces, styling fashions, six pieces? I guess some of the ones that she's already shown holding. I don't know. I, it, it's confusing. I don't know. 29 points of articulation. Um, 29 points of articulation. 10... Look how they look how they ten pieces included, ten pieces included, four surprises to unbox. Maybe it's four or five. I don't know. Maybe I, I, I don't know. 
Anyway, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me today. They're pretty cute.